In this episode, I make a great cup of espresso and review my DeLonghi EC155 espresso maker. Welcome to More Approved, I'm James, and today I'm making a great cup of espresso with my EC155 espresso maker. I've had it for roughly a year now, and I have had tons of espresso out of it. I even made a couple of practice espresso shots just before I began this. So, I am raring and ready to go. What you get when you open the box is you get the unit itself. You will get the filter holder and you will get two filters. One is for a double shot and the other one, which is stored right here, is for a single espresso shot. You have a water hopper, which is back up in the top here. You wanna make sure you fill that up. Do not push it near the max level. Make sure it's clicked down nicely into place and to get started, you have a couple of selections. You have up in the center, which is off. If you go one stage to the right, you are now taking and heating up the water reservoir so it could be used to make a cup of espresso. It can also be used just for hot water if you wanna do tea. I don't know why you do that with an espresso maker, but it is an option. And if you go one click over to this side, it looks like a little poof of steam. The poof of steam means that you can use the steamer wand. In a moment, I will use this frothing wand to froth a little bit of almond milk. It does not froth as good as regular dairy milk, but I like almond milk better. Now that we're in the brew coffee spot, when this OK light turns on, you're ready to get started. For this demonstration, I will be using some Illy ground espresso. And to get that started, you just wanna take your filter and you're going to want to fill this up let's see if we can get this in camera here without making too much of a mess you're going to want to fill it up so it's just heaping and even all the way around oh look at that i'm making a mess oh no it happens though so you're going to want to have a little bit of a mound on it and then you're gonna to wanna to tamp it. Now there is a built-in tamper on this unit right over on this side. However, if you are serious about coffee, you're gonna to wanna to pick one of these up. This is just a regular, ordinary tamper. They're pretty cheap. I think this was only like $5. I'll put it in the description down below. But you're gonna to wanna to take and use the big side to put it into place, just so that it's all flat in case you have a lot of it out there, you're really packing it down. And then just a gentle pressure all the way around and you're going to want to make a circular motion with that. Not too much. Clear off all the end stuff, all the grounds that are around the rim, and then you're pretty much ready to go. You just drop it into the holder. You're going to want to load it into the unit and turn it all the way out without giving it too much force. At this point, you'll want to take your espresso cup, set it underneath the bottom, and when it's about three quarters of the way full, I like to turn it off, which is just back one click. And then I'm gonna put it over to the far left for the steam portion, and I'm gonna steep a little bit of almond milk while the rest of that liquid is draining out of the filter. All right, the light is on. Let's go ahead and start steeping here. And you just twist this little knob right on the top, counterclockwise, hold it right under the edge of the milk, and it doesn't take too long to get a little bit of froth going. And we will take and pull out our espresso cup. As you can see, the espresso maker did a great job with putting a nice amount of crema on the top. Now we're just gonna take some of that foam and just dollop it right up on there. Did a really nice job steeping that, and that is just almond milk. And as simple as that, we have a great cup of espresso. Cheers. 